Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Billion Seeds number five, episode number one. The new um the new the cars? The car? The car? Eh. Like I said that wrong. But this episode is directed by Matthew Um McLoster. And this episode here, we got Bobby and we got Wags on a, a road trip getting high in, in the TP seeing visions. And then they're in their high state, they're, they're, they're pretty much planning on what they want to do with the company, what they want to do with their lives, how they want to conquer everything and rule the world, and stuff like that too. They're high out of their minds. And so, but in, the, but in his high state, after he calms down a little bit, he, and, and you also find out he also he, he made the 10, the $10 billion mark. So he's very rich and very powerful. But now he, 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 he looking at his vision, he's he, he thinking about things, he starts thinking, he think he, she thought he would be happy as he, since he reaches this high level. But he's not. He thought he would be satisfied because he reached this high level. Not that either. And he started, he started, he started to rethink about what he want to do with his life and stuff like that too. Is this all? Is this it? Is this more to it? Did I rush to reach the top and now I'm still not happy? And which is, which is true because you, you, money doesn't make you happy. You got to be happy already. If, 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 no matter how, how much you charge to see, no matter what you do. And once you get there, you realize, was it worth it? So now he's pretty much going through that right in here. You also have Wendy running the company for him. But she's but she, but she having a hard time with the, with the two clicks that's going on. Because Taylor's now back. But she has her crew. And, and you have, then you have Bobby's crew. And they're not really getting along. They're starting to fight. They, they form tribes. And now they're now they're not on the same page anymore, and so which is starting a lot of confusion. So now Wendy got to find a way to pretty much squash the, the the tension, squash the arguments before it comes down to an all-out war within the company, which is not good for nobody. Then we have um Chuck at his father's wedding. He's getting he got, he got remarried to a younger woman, and I think she got her. I think he got a pregnant too. And so you see him dealing with that at the same time, dealing with the separation from his wife Wendy. And now, now he's a little pissed off about that. He pissed, he's pissed off at his father, what he did to his mom. And so he, he, a lot of things going on here. And he's also trying to get back at Astaroth because now he pretty much lost Wendy for sure. He lost, he lost her to Axel, and that's not good. They were friends at one moment for, 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 the, for a brief moment in time. It, it didn't last long. And at the same time, he's, he's using Taylor so he can get information so he can get back at, 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 um, at, at Axel. But the thing is, though, but Bobby already knew about what happened with the, with the hotel situation, and they, he confronted her on this, and he managed to pretty much bring her back on her on his side. But it's like he's is, I don't know if Bobby's evil or he's a, a evil genius or he's just a, a genius. I'm not sure what he is, but either way, he knows how to work people. He knows what he does, and when you think you you say you get the upper hand on him, he manages to push things and turn things around, and you see him pretty much trying to use that again against. Chuck, but I think at the same time he already knows that Chuck's not going to bound that back down to this. And even though Chuck's lying, like this, uh, coming up with this weird excuse, that uh huh, you just see, you see, he just tests him out and see, just see where he stands, where he has to go, what, what fight, what position he has to put him to go in because he knows the fight's coming. It's coming. It's going to happen. So we were friends at one time, and we're not friends now. So the war is still on. So, but now, and now that you have a war against Chuck again, he also got this new guy coming into the picture. Um, we're played by Carl, um, um, Corey Stahl, Michael Pr Prince, another 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 billionaire, and so now they're and, they're, and you see them fighting, all fight start, starting their little war about to happen because it all started off with the cover of a of a magazine, and he managed to put his face on there, and Bobby said, well, "Okay, okay." I see where you're going. You're gonna give my friend, act like you're on my side, and stab me in the back. Fine. It's on. So now you got two people you're going up against. <sighs> Overall, we didn't enjoy this episode. Seeing the whole, the whole crew back together again. Um, I, I, like the, I like the fact that, that Tyler, that Bobby managed to stop this whole thing with Tyler's situation going on. Because even though Tyler acts like, act like a robot most of the time, he can tell when she was that she was off. And the fact that he knew about the whole situation too when he was ahead of it and managed to pretty much bring her back on his, his side was just amazing. Now, I'm not so sure she's completely there yet. I don't trust her at all, but we'll see, we'll see where that goes. And now the war between Chuck and and Bobby is back. Even though Bobby made this nice gesture to him, the people are trying to win him over or, or just test him out. Let's see where he's at. Yeah. 
So it was it was civil, but at the same time, the tension was still there, and you knew it, 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 even though what Bobby was doing was nice, but he was doing it for an agenda, and even though um. Chuck acted like he was like friends, but still him. You could tell, tell he was underhand. He's still trying to stab him at the same time too. I was like, oh, the tension is just like, oh, yeah. Overall, great episode. What he didn't enjoy this a whole lot. Happy to see the whole crew back. I think I think it might be the last and final installment. We will see. We will see. Will Bobby prevail? Will he take down Chuck? Will Chuck lose his job? Will Chuck lose more than just just Wendy? Oh, we will find out. Yeah, because it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. Yeah. So, let's see what, what happens next. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the episode of Billions. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you're watching, you will enjoy having watching it too. So, give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shut up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would have appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers. Help me in my journey to get there. And for all those who have subscribed already, I just want to say thank you. Like I always say in my dreams of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.